Meanwhile, there is an international race to land non-manned craft on the moon. Russia has a robotic probe called Luna 25 that just reached orbit around the moon. It plans to land the probe on the moon's south pole, and India also has a vehicle in orbit. Both of them are set to land any day now. The moon's south pole, by the way, is where NASA astronauts will land when they finally touch down again. Scientists picked that spot because researchers believe that if there's water on the surface of the moon, that's where we'll find it. Is this a competition to see who gets there first and who would have access to that frozen ice, to the water? We're in a space race with China. Uh, you see the uh, actions of the Chinese government on Earth. And if indeed we find water in abundance there that could be utilized for future crews and spacecraft, uh, we want to make sure that that's available to all. NASA's next mission to the moon will take astronauts there, but they won't get out of the Orion capsule. They'll orbit the moon and then come back. That's set for late next year. After that mission, NASA will firm up the date for the lunar landing, likely sometime in 2025.